Hi, it's Scott from Cushy Audio. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up Android Auto now since the last update. Okay, this will be the first screen you will see. It will be the only time you see it. So read the terms, let's agree and get on with it. We're going to start off here where we can change all of our settings to metric, etc. So we've got miles per hour, Celsius, Navigation hasn't been set yet, but remember where this is, so you can set your default one. Right hand drive, it's the medium scanner, we'll just tick that for fun. And down here is a new setting, that's where our microphone gain is now, and the auto is our new one. Haven't played with it, haven't had to. So now when we get out of here, we'll, we'll see the status bar shifts over to this side. What are these pluses? Okay, let's click on one. <gasps> This is where we add our Android Auto and our CarPlay. When you've installed Gaps and you want to put things from the Play Store in here, this is where they'll be. It'll be under Apps, and then there are some good shortcuts too, like going back to the factory user interface. It's much easier just pushing a button on your dash. Some people like to have a little icon there. But right now, let's get the Android Auto going. I'll go over to this next page. We'll find the Bluetooth settings. I'll open up my phone. I'll say pair new device. Okay, it's seen it already. That's my Galaxy. I'll accept it on here. Connected already. Remember where this little wheel is because that comes in handy later on for some things. But now I'll just show you, go back to our Android Auto. It sees my Galaxy, it's set to automatically connect. You can change it to manually if you like doing things out of Android Auto. But right now we're just going to hit pair to connect. A few short moments. Look at this, we've got Android Auto up and running already. Okay, so it defaults to the maps. We can get out of there and have a quick squiz around. Even though if you're an Android person, you still use your phone's Bluetooth, but you've got a great user interface now for it. So as soon as you hit one of the buttons then, the factory system will take over. Okay, so we've had a bit of a look around here. You can arrange these, tidy them up on your handset, not while you're driving. All right, we'll get out of Android Auto now, and I want to show you something else. Here, setting the time zone is very important. System time, backup updates, that's a really nifty place to go sometimes, date and time, select time zone, here, because I'm in Brisbane, I'll select alphabetically, because I don't have to scroll too far, I'll scroll too far, Brisbane, okay that's set, And let's go back to our Android Auto. Okay, if you're exploring this for the first time, remember, with the stereo going and your V-line going, especially if you've got like a Levinson with 100 amplifiers and 2 million speakers, it's going to draw some current. So just remember that. Welcome to a whole new world. Thanks for watching.